Hey guys, Phases, windsource.com again. I'm doing another video, show you a couple more quick tips. Let's see how quick I can be. All right, I'm gonna start with the soft keyboard. Somebody on XDA has made a thread with a bunch of tips and pointers, and I will link to that because it's, it's pretty cool. And I've mentioned a couple things in there. Um, I will start, in this case, with the soft keyboard. He has pointed out that there are nearly 800 emoticons in here, which I had no idea. It was a smiley face. I have yet to have any reason to hit that button, so I didn't know. But you can go through several pages of these, and then there's all these buttons across the bottom that have various pages of stuff as well. Look, there's a little bitty turtle. Isn't he cute? There's a dolphin. If you ever want a camel, there's a camel. Let's see. There's a bunch of pages on that one. And then here's some of your more traditional smileys. I don't know what half of these are. What in the world is that supposed to be? What is this? That's a heart. What is this? All right, anyway. Uh, also, I found that one a little bit less useful, but I really like this tip. Turns out, if you search the store, and, and this is another one of those bada moments, you know, it makes total sense once you hear it, but if you search the store for asterisk, just kind of stick it in right here, and search, it will pull up everything in the store, which is an awful lot of junk. Um, I'm not finding enough really feminine stuff. Anyway, I'm not finding a whole lot of stuff that I think is high quality, but you know, it's 6,000 apps you can go through, so it's definitely a way to kill some time if you need to. You can break them down by category, by price, like usual. And then uh, you can maybe look at all your newest free games, or maybe all your highest ratings. That's highest price. Highest rating free games. You know, it's just a different way to browse the store. It is pretty much the only way I look now, now that I've read about it. Let's see. Uh, somebody asked me how you can clear all these out in one go without having to close them individually. Unfortunately, the only way to do that doesn't take as long as I, th I thought now that I've done it a few times. But if you go into your settings here, change PC settings, it's right there in the general tab, delete history. That will, that'll do it. It's gone. Delete history done gone go back here it's the only one there open up a couple more things do it one more time for the fun of it there they are Let's see change PC settings general tab gone nope there it says done gone so that's how you do that. Uh, somebody asked me what the Quick Note app was. Well, it's just what you expect. You can take notes. Uh, by the way, I have not really used this keyboard much until now. You know, you can. Uh, it's just a notepad app. Um, toolbox is really kind of cool. You can multitask with up to six apps at once. Uh, they're predefined apps. But what I wanted to show you was that one. Some people have asked about a Facebook client. Well, inside that app they've got a little, from what I read, halfway decent Facebook app. I don't use Facebook, believe it or not, so I don't know. But if you were to give it a shot and log in here and tell me what you think, I might would know a little bit better. But I read that it's... Uh, pretty functional and with a little bit more work on the devs part it'll be great another thing I want to show you with this guy is it's the first place I've seen where I can actually check out the five point multi-touch lags a little bit but it does it it's pretty cool so it's got some preset stuff down here like for some reason, if you're going to brainstorm, I, I get the voice notes, that's pretty cool, and I get doodling, that's pretty cool. Not real sure why I'm going to use a little bitty tiny browser. It seems a little 
silly, but you know, if I want to draw and I want to record stuff, I just hit the record button and record. And there it is. That was a very short recording, sorry. Um, okay, so your desktop, you might find that it's a little hard to use because of the resolution. You can make, and I've already done it as you can see, but you can make all this a little bit more touch friendly by just going to the uh, screen resolution section here and make text and other items larger or smaller. You can change it to medium or go to custom here and, you know, make them ridiculous if you want. I just went to medium. And then you can go into your folder options, hit the view tab, go into a folder, hit the view tab, and change it to maybe large icons if you want. In the options over here, you can apply it to all folders on the view tab. So whatever you set up here, you can just kind of hit apply to, to folders and it'll do to everything. So if you want to make it a little bit more touch friendly, that's a way to do it. And also you may notice I've got the arrow light theme going here. It's pretty easy to do. If you hit Windows, sorry, if you hit Windows R and go to resources, you will see a themes folder in there. You can go in there and pull the arrow theme out, which, sorry guys, I, I really, I can't do the button thing like you guys might can do it, but if you pull the arrow full, um, file out to your desktop, actually you can't move it. You have to do a copy paste. Paste it here. You'll have it right there. You just rename the guy to arrow light. And then you'll just go into it using Notepad, open with Notepad, and you'll change two of these lines. You'll change the uh, display name line right here, and then you'll go down to Visual Styles and change this guy. You'll change that to say Arrow Light, and this one up here to say something else. I'll show you. And then you just kind of copy it back into that folder. I managed to close it, sorry. So, rename it to Arrow Light, make those two edits, copy it back in here. Here it is. Display name, you change to Arrow Light. Under Visual Styles, you change the path. Oops. Change the path to Arrow Light .ms styles. And I'll put instructions up. But once you do that and copy it back over into the resources folder, it will show up in your personalize. Instead of having just these, you will not have arrow light that you can change to, which is what you're seeing here. It's it's not like the fancy arrow that you saw in seven, but I like it, so I'm using it. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Let me know if you have any other questions or. Uh, you know, any other tips that you want me to put in anything. Thanks. Bye.